Hello everybody, what is going on and welcome back to the My Player Career Mode. Good to see you, I hope I find you well. If you missed the previous episode, you have to go and watch it. We put in some incredible performances that's allowed us to be in the team here for this game against West Brom to start the day. And hopefully we will keep our starting spot in the team. Uh, in terms of what else we have to show you today, well, West Brom up first and then it's a see how we get on. Uh, game because obviously I don't know if I'm going to be selected. We got Brighton, we got Palace, we got Wolves, we got Sheffield United all coming up, but it depends if we start those games. In terms of our performances, you know how we've done if you've seen the last video, but as a team, yeah, we sit eighth at the moment and we are a solid 10 points off of Chelsea in fourth. And of course, that is Champions League football. So it's not ideal, but all we can do is try and improve from this point forward. In terms of how many games we've played, we've only played seven. Um, and they haven't all been in the Premier League. So there is that as well that we need to think about. And I do appreciate all of the support and all of the love that you guys have given me on the last few videos. Uh, I did see some comments telling us to go out on loan, go here, leave Arsenal, do this. And whilst I appreciate all of the comments that you guys leave me, um, it's not possible to do every single one that you guys want. You know, if I got on loan, then I have people saying that I, they want me to do this and vice versa. But for the most part, um, unless we sort of get knocked back out of the team, we are still loan listed. And if an offer does come through that I think is going to be good for us, I am maybe thinking about leaving and uh, seeing what we can do. But for the moment, we're in the team. We just need to enjoy it. So let's head off into our first game of the day. Face cam will be ready to go once we are into the game as well. And uh, as always, I'll show you how we're getting on in terms of our performance at the end of the games, because I know my face cam blocks the, uh, the rating at the top right hand side of the screen. So for now, that's the team that we are going to go with. The five at the back is still in. The probable lineup for West Brom is, uh, is on the right hand side there. And it should, in theory, be three points for us. Oh, and also, whilst I show you this, um, I have left it on to competitor, oh, sorry, onto legendary and competitor mode is switched off. So for now, that's what we're going to run with. We'll see how it goes and uh, we'll move from there should we need to. So yeah, into game we go. Great little touch there as well to get us away from that defender. And now as we bear down on the West Bromwich Albion goal, looking for the finish. We've hit the post. Oh no. I thought for sure that was 1-0 Arsenal. We've started the game off really strongly as well uh, in possession. Here we are again. Now to Malin. Malin off towards Xhaka. And you can see that West Brom are struggling at the moment to kind of keep us out a little bit. As we find the ball to El Elneny. He's still got this. Now to Malin. We've overplayed it slightly. But a great ball off to Pepe. Surely. And it is Arsenal who take the lead here at the Emirates. Nicolas Pepe with the goal. I thought we'd overplayed it though. You saw there was like one or two extra passes that maybe we didn't need. But at the end of the day, the ball's in the net and that's all we can ask for. And the strong start that we've made to the game, we've been given our reward for it as well. With Pepe finding the back of the net. Get in. El Nenny, we're straight back on the edge of their penalty area looking for another chance. And Daniel Malen has just sent a rocket into the top corner. What a strike. 2-0 Arsenal, and this is what we want to see. If we're to turn our fortunes around in the Premier League, we need to put in performances like this. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because it is West Brom who are 18th, so you'd expect us to win this game. But yeah, that is a quality effort, and there is an incredible game going on elsewhere as well. City taking on Liverpool at the moment. City leading that by a goal to nil, courtesy of Raheem Sterling. So we'll see which one or which way that way goes because I think Liverpool are top, so... They're behind, though, against Manchester City. Look at the space here for Kolasinac. We found him as well. Surely, Kolasinac, what did he even just do? I don't even know what Kolasinac has just done there. But it looked mental. And it worked. It's 3-0 Arsenal. West Brom haven't even had a say in this match. Every time they get the ball out, it comes straight back at them. I mean, we had it a little bit too simple here, but I thought Kolasinac should have shot, and instead he holds on to it and then does one of the craziest spins we're likely to see. Not only that, but he also megged Sam Johnstone in scoring the goal as well. 
Credit where credit is due. It would be very easy for West Brom to kind of just give up now and end up losing this by more. But Charlie Austin says no. 3-1 and it's a thumping finish off the inside of the post. I said credit where credit is due. I wasn't expecting them to score when I started that sentence. I was just going to say because of the fact that this could get even worse for them. Well, actually, I'll eat my words because Charlie Austin makes this 3-1. I still think there's more goals in this for us. Um, so I still feel like we will score again. 15 minutes to play. Xhaka with possession. Ball through. We're on our weaker right side. A great block, though. Denies us a fourth goal in this match until Pepe finds it right there with that finish. And a second assist for us as well in the game. It is 4-1. Fair play to West Brom, though. They've tried to make a game of this. Um, for times, they have sat behind the ball with literally everybody apart from their striker. But they have had a couple of moments where they've gone forward and looked for a chance. Obviously, Austin's goal was, uh, was pretty much a solo effort. Um, they haven't been able to break us down, but, you know, they, they could have crumbled here. And 4-1's not exactly ideal. But when we, you know, are 3-0 up going into half-time, you expect that this is going to get even worse for them. So, with our fourth coming in 77 minutes, they've done rather well to make sure that that didn't happen sooner. And there is the referee's whistle for full-time. A 4-1 win. What a start to today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that performance. Like I said, you know, I am getting a little bit ahead of myself. It's only West Brom. They are 18th. And I mean, no disrespect by that. But that's a game we should be winning, you know, on paper. Uh, but it was good to see that we not only won it, we won it quite convincingly. Uh, Pepe, two goals, great performance. And I'll show you our performance in just a second. Our performance was a 9.1 match rating. To put that into perspective, we'll see who the man of the match was. I believe, yeah, Pepe got man of the match. A 9.5. Malin with an 8.9. Xhaka managing an 8. Kolasinac, who did really well on the overlap down that left-hand side, getting an 8.2 as well. Goals, one for Kolasinac, two for Pepe, one for Malin. Two assists for myself, one for Elneny, one for Malin as well. What about passes completed? You see we had a lot of the ball. Dribbles as well, 37 out of 40. Really, I went on that many? You don't realise until you see it after just the level of which you've had the ball, right? So, yeah, I mean, match facts as well. We dominated the game and that's what we can ask for. And we'll see if we are selected for the very next match. Liverpool came back to win against Manchester City. Potentially already title winners in the making again. So... We'll advance the days and head to our next match. We'll see what that's saying, if we're in the team or not. Yep, we're in the team. Let's get into the game. Matthew Ryan in goal for Brighton. Bernardo Webster, Dunk, Veltman and Lamptey at the back. Pascal Gross, Basuma, McAllister, Morpé and Connolly is the Brighton team. On the flip side, we've got Macy in goal for us. Kolasinac, Socrates, Gomez and Chambers. Maitland Niles, Granit Xhaka, Sabayos, myself, Marlon and Pepe. Pepe with five goals in his last three games. So, the player to watch today. Here is McAllister. Gross just in front of him. Lovely football. Connolly's there. And Brighton pass up a massive opportunity to take the lead here at the Amex. And to let you know as well, they sit one place above our last opponents in West Brom. And you saw how that game went. So, I'd like to think we would dominate this one. But the start that Brighton have made here... Suggests otherwise, and that was a great chance for them to take the lead, which, simply put, you cannot pass up like that. We're struggling a little bit to contend with the midfield runs, and this is why they're creating chances. More pay with the latest one, Macy with the save. But it's all Brighton at the moment in this opening 20 minutes. Pascal Gross with a corner into the middle. We have enough composure to bring that ball under control and try and play our way out of defence, which we've done. Half an hour gone here. Still yet to see a clear-cut chance from us. This might be it. It's so well worked. And even better taken that Arsenal have the lead here at the Amex. And you will say that that's very, very harsh on the home side. Who have been the better team here. But we spoke about Connolly passing up that chance earlier on. That you, uh, you're just not allowed to do when you're playing in the Premier League. Because that's what happens when you do. First shot, really. First chance, taken. One the last night. It's another goal for us as well. And a much-needed goal, really, just to kind of get the momentum in our favour here. 
Here is Daniel Malin now off towards Xhaka. He's still here in a great place, but he's disguised that beautifully through. And Malin, uh, Malin sorry, should have scored. Brighton running out of time here. We are over the two minutes that the referee had added on. And that is the end of the game. A 1-0 win, which I've got to say we were quite lucky to get. Not our finest display by any means. I will uh, mute the in-game sound here so we can have a look at our personal performance. But all in all, we win the game. We get the goal that makes the difference. 8.7 match rating. I believe we have man of the match as well. As you'll see with the, uh, the highlights there, pretty much all that you saw already. And yeah, match facts wise, actually we did, we did just edge it to be fair. So we can be happy with that. And uh, yeah, man of the match two, Xhaka with an 8.4 was the closest to us. We got an 8.7 on Brighton's side, Basuma 7.3, Veltman 7.7. Um, yeah, another win, as much as it wasn't a clinical win or a sort of big win, we, we still take those and we can see if we are in the team for the next match. We're not in the team. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Pepe, Martinelli's in the team. Marlon still holds his spot. Quicks him anyway. And we'll see what the game brings. Don't be a defeat. Surely going to be a win. Unbelievable. Two shots as well. Jordan Ayu, Zaha with the goals. Pepe gets one. At the Emirates, we didn't even dominate the game. How? I can't, like, I can't quite believe it. I knew as well. As soon as, like, I knew I wasn't picked, I just had this awful feeling we were going to lose that game. Now we got Wolves as well. We are back in the team, at least for Wolves. So, they sit sixth. So, it's a big game, this, against a team who are very near us in the league. And, as I said, I will bump this up to ultimate difficulty just to see how it goes. Game settings... Let's go and see what we can do in this one. Wolves' team, by the way, is very, very good. Upper Meccano starts at centre-back. And overall, I would say they have probably the slightly better team here. But that doesn't matter. As long as we put in a performance, I will be happy. You see the both sides pop up. And we are on the left-hand side of that front three with Pepe and Malin as well. Need a big game from both of those guys if we are to try and find a win here. I know we've been putting in a performance, but a lot of the time it's also been Malin's great hold-up play getting us into the game. Pepe scoring the chances that we lay on a plate for him. So it's not just like, you know, I'm making the difference. The players around me are certainly helping out massively as well. So, yeah, Wolves tricky test this. I imagine that they'll have a lot of the ball. And we'll just try and see if we can catch them on the counter more than anything. As already down this left-hand side, they're looking for their first chance. I believe that's Daniel Poden. So I'm not sure he's bold, but... According to the game, that's what it says. Dama Traore is just so quick and so strong that every time Wolves get the ball and he's on it, they always look like they might get a chance. Raul Jimenez towards Podence. Great feet from Daniel Podence. Renarsson with the save, but it's back in play. Moutinho's hit the crossbar. And Saliba just about does enough. Torreira sends it up towards Xhaka. We hold on to this. A bit of a mix-up between myself and Daniel Malin, though. Gives possession back the way of Wolves, who have proved to be a difficult team to break down here. Mullen looking for a run through. The pass from me is poor, though. And uh, we're five minutes away from half time. And I'll be honest, I am kind of wishing it sooner because we just need to get in at half time at 0 0 because Wolves are now beginning to ramp up this game a little bit and start to look a little bit more dangerous as we block the attempted cross. But they have possession straight back. Wolves trying to create one last chance. Where on earth is Renarsson going? I don't know, but that's full time. And it finishes all square, nil-nil. Only the real one chance, which came the way of Wolves when they hit the crossbar in the first half. As you'd probably expect, we got absolutely nothing from, uh, from Nelson Semedo or Upper Meccano. They defended brilliantly throughout, and I really struggled to get in that game much. Um, I didn't have a bad game, though. Uh, when we had the ball, I sort of did what... I could with it, and uh, I think we finished with like a 7 point. Yeah, 7.4. So, it's not the worst performance in the world, but it's just the the sort of lack of chances that's the, the issue. And this is why one of the reasons we dropped to Legendary, of course. But as you can see, on Ultimate, the teams just sort of cancel one another out. 
So, yeah, strange one. Wolves probably should have won it with the, the crossbar that they had in the opening first half thing. But they didn't, and we get the point at least. Tough game. Uh, on to the next one. Sheffield United was our next game, and as we weren't selected, went ahead and simmed it. A 1-1 draw. Martinelli scoring, and there was a red card as well for uh, Norwood. So, playing against 10 men, and we didn't dominate the game. Got a cup game against Lincoln, I'll be honest. Not even the slightest bit bothered about this, so if I am playing in this one, I am just going to go ahead and sim the game itself. Um, I mean, it, it, it should be a win, and if I was to play this, it would be quite an easy game, I think, for us to get some, some goals in and, and try and really get the chances, but it's not the type of game that you guys want to be seeing, or is it? Round three of the FA Cup. I just don't want to play it, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, just out of curiosity, were we actually selected? We were. And it's a strong team as well that, uh, that Arteta has gone with for this one. But I just don't really want to play the game. So we'll sim past it. Hopefully we win. Manchester United the next match. And it was, are you joking me? We lost 2-1 to Lincoln in the, in the third round of the FA Cup. Here we are then, Manchester United. And we are not selected. Willian has returned from injury. To let you know, they're actually doing worse than us at the moment. They're in 10th. So, I'm going over here talking about the fact that we are not, you know, having our best season. Neither are they. You know what I mean? So, yeah, their team's better than ours, though. Um, on paper, at least. A little bit better, I'd say. Vardy up front. Van der Beek in behind. Quick sim this. And uh, I think that this will probably be another defeat. Yep, yeah, you can guess it. It's so easy to know. Now for Newcastle, which is a 3-1 defeat. It's just getting worse and worse with every game that goes by. Yeah, we're back in the team for Leeds. So, I'm going to finish with this game today. And then see if we get a loan offer after this. And if we do, I'll leave it up to you guys. If no offer comes through, then there's not a lot I can do about that. But it's a joke, quite frankly, that we've missed, what, the last four games is that now? Um, Leeds United away at Ellen Road or... Because it's not actually in the game, East Point Arena. Brozovic, a new signing, I believe, to this Arsenal team. Did play in that last game and actually scored as well. Daniel Malin here, in for the first chance. And it will be the first chance and the first goal as well. And just before that, I was uh, commentating about a half chance that never came to anything. But this time around, Pepe, after Leeds try and clear their lines, we win the header. I think it was Maitland-Niles winning it. Here you go, yeah, into the, into the feet of Pepe, who chests it down and then finds Malin. He applies the finish. We scored twice against Leeds in the last game against them. Corner ball, Leeds United, 26 minutes in. Costa with the delivery, and we've ended up giving away a penalty. It's not a penalty, man. Remember, we still have the handballs switched on. I know a few of you have said you don't want the handballs on. It makes it unrealistic and things of that nature. But it just adds something else to uh, to think about. But uh, this looks like it's the chest. So I'm not sure how on earth the referee's seen a handball in this. And I will watch the replay as well just to make sure once we get past the whole dancing thing. So here we go then. This is the ball into the box. I mean, it does actually hit my hand. So I can't complain. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right then. Leads from the spot. Rodrigo steps up to take this, up against Matt Macy, in off the post. Decent penalty, Leeds back on level terms. Another Leeds corner, and we know what came of last one, so I don't want to be in the box for this. Rodrigo makes it 2-1, Leeds United. Free header, easy as you'd like, and they are leading here at Ellen Road. Two minutes added on here of this first half, and all of a sudden, Rodrigo's in for a hat-trick. Oh, what? Arsenal silenced. Leeds in dreamland. I don't actually know what we can do differently here. It just feels like we're just slow to every single play. And Leeds just want it that little bit more. Rodrigo has scored a hat-trick here. What a day for him. But there's serious question marks around this Arsenal team. Space on the left-hand side for Tierney. Here he is then. Can he find a good cross? Yes, he can. And Pepe has pulled one back. 
with half an hour to play. It's Leeds 3, Arsenal 2. And we needed that goal to go in. Can we find another? That's the question. Pepe doing what he can to try and inspire Oz to really find a performance here, which we've lacked today. And the ball in from Tierney towards that near post. Great header. Game on, hopefully. Ilicic, maybe we'll see us making this wrong. We've got Elneny just on the right-hand side. He has Pepe over. Nicolas Pepe, great chance. Big save, though, from Kiko Casilla with seven minutes to go. And there it is then, full-time here at Ellen Road. Leeds three, Arsenal two. Rodrigo's hat-trick is enough to give them the three points. Fair play, you know, they outplayed us during that first half and probably deserve to win. Deadline day is nearly upon us, but before that, we had a game against Everton. Uh, a 2-2 draw, Pepe rescuing us with nine minutes to go. And um, with that, we now do move into transfer deadline day. So we await to see a loan offer. And um, if nothing comes through, then we're still here for the rest of the season. If it does, I will show you it and I will give you guys the vote to be able to decide if we should go out on loan or not. We've also just signed Horta as well, I believe. So, yeah, another player who might stop us getting into this Arsenal team. There you go. Is he the captain? He's got the captain's armband. Are you joking me? You better not be. Anyway, um, yeah, so another player who's just joined. Game time might be limited once again, but we'll see. Ten hours to go. Will there be an offer? Been trying to get an offer for the last sort of 10, 15 minutes, but there's no offers coming through. So I'm trying to uh, withdraw my loan request and then re or redo it so that I'm put back on the loan list as I'm not sure if it's bugged or not. But every single time I've done this, no offer is coming through. Oh, there we go. Right, finally. So I'll do it one more time just to show you how I'm doing this. Um, so request loan, that should then be accepted. And then maybe, fingers crossed, this time we might get some, some offer through. If not, then there's not a lot I can do. So let's see, did that get accepted? Yep, okay, we're back on the loan list. Five hours to find a loan. Please. If not, we're still here. But the hours are ticking away very quickly as well. So it's looking like... We will remain an Arsenal player. Um, but there is only 13 Premier League games to go. So it's not like there's a massive amount of games that we have left. Transfer deadline day is done. So, yeah. We're still here. And we will finish the season as an Arsenal player. 25 Premier League games have been played. We started the day 10 points away from Leicester. Oh, sorry, away from fourth. And we are now 15. That's not good. 15 points away from fourth place. Down in 11th. Um, a lot of that isn't even my doing, you know. 10 defeats, 9 wins, 6 draws is how the season has gone. Roma FC in the Europa League, which hopefully we will be able to play in. Fingers crossed anyways. But I want to thank you all for watching this episode. A massive thank you for all of your support on the channel as well. If you are new around here and like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below to help me get one step closer to the magic number of 100,000 subscribers. Um, thank you for your patience as well. I know it's not ideal. I know a lot of you want me to leave Arsenal as well because we're not playing as many games as we were hoping. Maybe that was my fault for picking a team, um, you know, already kind of in a big league, if you will. If we'd have started in League 2, the Championship League 1, we'd have been definitely in the team for more or less all of the games. But it'll make the career even more sweeter, I guess. And worst comes to it, we just leave on a permanent deal to, like, one of the lower rated Premier League sides and start playing games there or even a, a team elsewhere in a different league and we start getting game time, start growing our overall and then go on to bigger and better things. Especially as well, I know with the age and everything, I was starting at 22, means that we are a little bit further on at this stage than we would normally be. But as I don't really go past 10 seasons, we should make it to at least like 31, 32 and um, that'll be... Uh, Interesting to see how much our overall will go down if we do make it there, of course. But yeah, have a great day. Have a great evening. I will see you all again very soon. Stay safe, people. Until next time, adios.